Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today, we're looking at my other Phalaenopsis Philadelphia. This is also a cross between Shuleriana and Stortiana. Recently, I talked about my other Phalaenopsis Philadelphia, the bigger one, and today we're gonna look at the smaller one. And the reason I try to talk about them in separate videos is because they have slightly differences. They have some small differences um, that I think is worth pointing out. And last video, I did the bigger one and then added a compare, side -by -side comparison between the bigger one and Stortiana. And today, later in the video, you'll see the bigger one and the smaller one placed side by side so you can kind of see the differences what I, that I'm talking about and the theories why I think the smaller one is taken more after uh, Shilariana which is the mother here mother of the parents so I have two and the bigger one like I said um, it is recently talked about and it's taken more after Stortiana which is the father of the parents. The only thing that I find really interesting about this cross is that somehow the fragrance from Shalariana did not carry over. And Stratiana, you know, since I've had my sister Stratiana, I've never once smelled any fragrance and I believe it's not a fragrant orchid to begin with. So I think it's just Shalariana. If, if there's any fragrance at all, it'll be from Shalariana. But you know, unfortunately, this cross doesn't have any fragrance, but because of its foliage, it still has a lot of um, interesting characteristics because when it's not in bloom, the foliage is still very nice to look at. The modeling, the marking of the leaves. Sometimes I just place them in the middle of the, a dining table and, and enjoy them as if they are just regular houseplants versus, you know, orchids. Um, in terms of care, if you missed that video, so for, for um, Philadelphia, this particular cross, it's not fussy. It's not a fussy cross. So typically, I provide a quarter cup of water in spring, summer, autumn, and then in winter time. Um, the, the water evaporation is a lot slower. So I usually reduce the water amount to about one eighth of a cup. And every time I give water, I obviously always already put fertilizer in the water, and the dosage is only about quarter, quarter per, uh, quarter. So like a quarter, that's twenty five percent strength. And at the end of the month, I always soak these orchids really well. And because I use the double cup method, so I am not sharing water nor am I sharing cups when it comes to soaking them. Um, and it has worked really well for me. And this soaking really provides two big benefits. One is dissolve any kind of soap built up from the fertilizer or wash away um, dead tissue, sometimes even small bugs. Um, unharmful bugs sometimes can be washed away, flushed away. Um, another benefit is, let's say if quarter cup or one eighth of a cup that I give to the orchid isn't enough, at least at the end of the month, there's that once a month that, that they'll definitely get more than plenty of water. So I always make sure at the end of the month, at least once a month, I would do that so that they, um, they're hydrated properly if they need more water. The inorganic media I use is a mixture of manto clay and hydrocorn. Hydrocorn being the bigger pebbles and then manto clay um, being the smaller pebbles. The ratio typically one to one. And here you're going to start to see comparison photos and eventually a video clip of these two Philadelphia, Philadelphia being placed side by side. Now, if you look closely, in terms of the flower shape, uh, the smaller Philadelphia is now on the right side, and the flower tends to be slightly smaller, skinnier, and taller. And then um, the bigger 
Phalaenopsis Philadelphia is on the left hand side and the flowers tend to be a little more round and slightly wider and round um, and their lips are different too the smaller one arch forward which is like Schillerianna that's why I think it's 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 taken after the mother and then um, the bigger Phalaenopsis Philadelphia the lip arches back like Stortiana um, and that's the beauty uh, grown from seeds uh, according to the seller these two orchids are siblings so they're at the same batch but then the size there's size difference and then the flower characteristics characteristics are a little different so um, there you go and also Stratiana seems to have a little bit more dots and also here the Philadelphia on the left also have more dots on the uh, the, the petal the white flower petals and sepals and then the one on the right uh, has more coloring more purple but then uh, uh, fewer dots and then the lips arch forward this cross isn't too common in the U.S. You do have to pay attention, and I haven't really seen them being sold by uh, U.S. orchid nurseries, at least not for the past four or five years. There might have been some, but I probably just missed it. I got these two from Joseph Wu Orchids when they came to the U.S. a couple years ago, four or five years, maybe more than five years ago, um, when they came to the U.S. for orchid shows, and I pre-ordered from them. And then when they came to the U.S., when they came inside into the U.S., they ship it to me. Um, that's how I got hold of these two orchids. Otherwise, I have never really seen this particular cross being sold um, on, gosh, not even eBay. Um, so it's slightly harder to find, um, but if you are only after fragrant orchid, this one isn't for you because it doesn't have fragrance. But if you like orchids with modeling leaves, model leaves, um, or if you're really just enjoying primary hybrid orchids, fragrant or not, this one could be something you should consider. It's not fussy at all. It's really easy to take care of and it's rewarding because it's such a re reliable bloomer for me every single year. Never fails. And fingers crossed because I really do enjoy seeing them uh, every time. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!